on my way to Detroit, Michigan right now to see Metallica and Pantera. What a bill. Man, last time I saw Pantera, probably 96 with Andals in Cleveland. One of the best shows ever saw. We had such a blast. Pantera was on fire. Great Southern Trend Kill Tour. That was killer. So totally looking forward to seeing them tonight. Maybe even a little more than Metallica. I don't know. But um, I've been one of those guys all along that said if there's ever, you know, if they're ever going to do this, there's only one guy that could take time spot. And uh, that's Zach Wild. So I'm happy it's come together. And I just can't wait to hear those songs again, man. That's what it's all about. Those songs. So... Yeah, and then Metallica, stoked for that. Uh, the new album, 72 Seasons, I haven't even checked out yet. I've heard a couple clips here and there, you know, watched the video, but uh, I've been waiting for an opportunity just like this, some sort of road trip or something where I can just put the album on and listen to it in its entirety. And uh, what a perfect time right now. On a little road trip out to see Metallica. So I'll get familiar with some of the songs. I'll no doubt here tonight. And uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, see Metallica a number of times, I don't know, six, seven, eight times different places across the world as a matter of fact a bunch of times in cleveland last time maybe about five years ago lamarck and i saw him in cleveland we had a great time there saw him over in the uk that was awesome and uh i've also seen him in detroit too where i'm heading out about 15 years ago different place though tonight is at ford field which is uh football stadium so that's gonna be killer i don't know if i've ever seen a concert you know in a stadium before so definitely stoked about that don't know what to expect but i'm sure it's gonna be killer but uh funny little story here that may go take a few different uh paths as i'm telling it but um the last time i went to detroit to see him like i said probably about 15 years ago i think it was devries and maybe mark hunter and i we drove out there and machine head was open in the show and uh we had been friends with machine head for a while at this point and uh so they put us on the list and you know had passes and all that and i wanted to uh you know make a nice gesture and, and bring the guys a bottle of gray goose because uh you know for anybody that's seen Kamira's dehumanizing process dvd may, may be familiar with the part where rob flynn rob, Kamira's out playing in uh san fran and rob flynn comes up on the bus and introduces us to the brown eye which is technically gray goose and coke good little drink um, and it's been my drink of choice ever since. Although I prefer what I call a diet eye, diet Coke, and uh, whatever vodka. I'm not, I'm not picky in that area. Obviously, Goose is nice, but so uh, uh, so here's a little side thing. This was so cool. One of the coolest moments in my heavy metal touring career. Sometime around that time, I don't know, 07, 08, Kamira's over in Europe doing the festivals, the summer festivals over there. And I can't remember exactly where we were, maybe Nova Rock or something. Is that Austria? I don't know, forgive me, I, I can't recall. But anyways, Machine Head was on the bill as well and Slayer was headlining. And Kamira uh, played, it was a killer show. Machine Head played. And then I'm just back on the bus, just chilling, figuring out what I was gonna do or whatever. And all of a sudden, there's a knock on the bus door and it's Rob Flynn. And he's like, Rob, talking to me. He's like, dude, let's go right now and watch Slayer together in Kerry King's world, like by his guitar tech and in his little world with all his guitars and stuff side stage, let's go watch Slayer. And he points to a backpack he's wearing, breaks open the backpack, he's got a bottle of Goose, two liter of Coke, a sleeve of cups, and a bag of ice. We head up there, work our way into Kerry's world. It was the shit watching Slayer side stage like that. And Kerry came over, you know, in between songs, doing a shot, giving us uh, the fist bump and stuff. So that was a memory I will never forget. I know Flynn, I'd like to talk to Flynn about that, just get his memories on it. Anyways, back to Detroit. So I wanted to bring the guys a bottle of Goose. And I uh, got one of those big boys, like the, I don't even know what it is, a liter and a half, two liter bottle, something like that, one of the big ones. And like I said, we had, we had passes waiting for us and all that, but it didn't occur to me until we were getting close, like how am I gonna get this thing in, this bottle? Because we still had to go through the main entrance. It's not like we used some backstage door or anything like that, had to go through the main entrance. So I'm thinking like, ah, oh, fuck, there's probably gonna be like metal detectors and you know, a pat down going into an arena. So sure enough, there was. You know, we get in there, it's winter. So I'm wearing this big puffy coat 
and I just figure, what the hell, I'm just gonna kind of like snug this up under my armpit inside my coat and just hope for the best. If it gets taken away, oh well, you know, it was the thought that counts. So that's what I did and I, I get up to security, uh, you know, empty my pockets, stuff like that, go through the metal detector, sure enough it goes off and uh, a guy asked me to raise my arms so he can wave me down and pat me down and uh, so I, I kind of raise my arms and I'm trying to like balance this bottle like against my hip and keep it so it doesn't slide out the bottom of my jacket. Quite a debacle, you know, but anyways, he pats me down and wands me and says, go ahead. And I'm just like, yes, I made it. So, so that night started off great like that. I made it in, we met up with the machine head guys, went back into their dressing room, presented them the bottle. I think they like set it, this thanks, and set it down with like 10 other bottles, <laughs> you know, that they already had. They're on tour with Metallica, so it's not like, uh, you know, catering started to come by or anything like that. You know, you get the star treatment on something like that. So I can't even imagine. Uh, but anyways, that's that. Many years later now, heading back, seeing him again in Detroit. Can't wait to roll in. Got about a uh, hour and a half left in my little, uh, little over two hour drive here. Meeting up with some buddies. Probably get something to eat, head over to the arena. Uh, Mammoth Van Halen, you know, Wolfgang, he's opening, so that'll be cool. I didn't really know much about him until uh, everybody took note of him when he did that Taylor Hawkins tribute, just tore up, what, like Hot for Teacher in Panama or something? Like, everybody, on, I think, on Earth was like, oh, my God, nobody, we didn't know he could play like that. So, stoked to see him as well, too. So, it's just a killer bill. Mammoth, uh, Pantera, and Metallica. It's going to be a good night. See you there. Downtown Detroit. The skyline is gorgeous. Thank you. All right, figure I'll do a little room tour because that's what you do in these things, these vlogs, right? You do a little room tour. This is actually pretty darn nice. A little uh, lounge area here. Head into my quarters here brought a little guitar for some late night strumming we got some blackened whiskey do some strumming and some sipping check out this bathroom in here Where's the... pretty darn nice huh so yeah whoa dual showers it's kind of crazy oh that's just the uh Not too shabby. So let me introduce you guys to my two showmates here, Eric so, Schaltek. Yeah. This is Aaron Price. Look at this stash of stuff that Aaron has brought for us here. All these Metallica pick tins are loaded with tons of picks, each one different. Bandana, some custom Chimera magnets he made, super cool. Look at these big old Hetfield Metallica wristbands. Large drumsticks, these are so cool. The heads, I'm stoked to put these. I can't wait to put these on my stick wall in yeah. the studio. Look at this custom poster from the Camera Reunion shows that he has made up. Yeah, go ahead, display that there for us, bro. Super cool. The quality on that's great. He even brought along an Elite poster. Look at that, very cool. And look at this here. Where's that shot glass? Uh, oh yeah. Look at this shot glass here that we're about to sip out of. Three bottles of the black in. I got the Miss Justice here. Who knows what we got? Did you put those stickers on, or is that how they arrive? I, I, I put it on. Oh, okay, okay. So let's look at let's look at a bottle and pour, and pour one. one up. Oh, here we go. Right, you yeah. got that. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that, that's so cool, man. The black in 72. We're gonna see how it tastes here yeah. in just a moment. We're back to cheers. Finished here. in brandy casks, remastered celebration of 72 seasons. All right. So, two toasts. 
First toast is, may you live as long as you want, but never once as long as you live. And number two, I felt like I won the contest. I got the golden ticket to go see Metallica with my best new friends, Rob mm -hmm. and Eric. This is a big deal. So we all have a golden ticket to see the mighty golden Metallica. Golden ticket. The Hell mighty yeah. Metallica. Cheers to that. Thank you Cheers, so much. Dude. Unreal. Glad to be here with you guys. It's going to be a great night. Yeah. Here we go. Life is hard. We live it our way. My brother. My brother, Dan. Sporting the Camira. See? Dude, it smells great. It's like donuts cooking. It's not bad. But oh, here, there's, a, there's, a, there's something else happening, too, here, though. my favorite band ever. Two of my favorite bands. Oh, mine too! Thanks, Just I seek and I find in you. How sick. They're, they're playing the music outside as you're walking in. Very sick. Semis, they said, for their stage show. Yeah, incredible. Something's about to happen. Thank you. 